Hey, what's up, YouTube? So in the intro, you saw that Venom Gyre is still pretty capable of doing Wave 30 Simulacrum, and it's probably one of the best Simulacrum farmers that I've personally played so far, including this league. In this league, I did try Lightning Strike for a while, and while Lightning Strike is very, very strong, Venom Gyre is a range skill, and with it, it also has the ability to cast while moving in the sense that if you use Whirling Blades, you're able to shoot out all the projectiles that you caught, so at least in this playstyle that you're doing an insane amount of damage even while moving throughout the map. And especially in Simulacrum, it's clear with built-in chain with Divergent Venom Gyre. It's absolutely spectacular. Probably one of the few builds that I played in Simulacrum that consistently gets 6 rewards. So I'm going to test out the build a little bit later on on stream and try out the Juice Conqueror maps. Because I do think that's pretty cool. And I did hear from some sources that you're actually able to get 15 to 17 exhausts per hour doing Juice Cemetery Conqueror map. So we're going to test out if that's true. But the topic of today's video is not about that. It is about the game-breaking bug killing Venom Gyre. Now, a lot of people might be wondering why I didn't switch to Venom Gyre earlier. The reason is, is this bug, which is GGG, is killing the Virgin Venom Gyre to super sad, super depressed, because name-locking Whirling Blades does not work anymore. So we're going to go over what exactly is name-locking how GGG can fix this and what is the best solution and my conclusions on Venom Gyre thus far. So Venom Gyre is probably one of the most fun mechanical skills. It combines a movement skill with the main skill. It lacks an MTX, so it looks like a bunch of green poop flying around the screen. And most people actually don't know what Venom Gyre looks like or what it does. I stream and a lot of people come into the stream and say, what is that skill? So I've been trolling them and saying it's actually Poison Spark because it looks more like Poison Spark than the actual Poison Spark. Now, a lot of people have been writing, writing the demise of Venom Gyre because Hydra Spear can no longer shotgun. Little do they forget, there's a thing called Tornado right here, leading to some insane damage output. You can still shotgun with Tornado. Tornado can get 20 projectiles into it. And, but the thing is, we keep casting Tornado over and over again with Cast on Crit on Whirling Blades. So let's just say that Venom Gyre is always shooting out and being able to chain with Tornado. So same exact thing as Hydra Spear. It's also the best Simulacrum Farmer with consistent 6 rewards. A lot of people don't know. In Simulacrum, how many rewards you get is dictated purely based on how good your skills uh, coverage is. So that's why a lot of people say Spark is the best Simulacrum Farmer because for Spark, you can literally just sit in the middle of the arena, hold down your mouse button and kill every single mob on the screen, right? Let's go take a look at what Venom Jar looks like. Let's go to the hideout. So it literally looks like a bunch of green poop everywhere, right? So if you throw... And then you, when you Whirling Blade, it shoots out like a bunch of projectile. So a bunch of green poop everywhere or green ninja stars. Some people also say it kind of looks like the EK ninja stars effect, right? So let's see what classes are actually playing Venom Jar. Currently 0.3% of population on PoE ninja plays this build. So it's not like a tiny, tiny amount. There's quite a few players. So this game-breaking bug or build-breaking bug is actually affecting quite a few people, right? 0.3% of the population to be exact. My goal is to bring represent representation up to 4% by end of league because the skill is just that fun and good. I'm actually pretty sure that if this build was not bugged in the current state, that it would be one of the most popular skills because in a time where a lot of people don't have a good second build to transition into, and a time where there's no new real skill that came out. Venom Gyre is pretty much new for a lot of different people. A lot of people probably will want to try it if name locking was fixed. And hopefully the representation will make GGG make a new MTX. So you can see here the breakdown. And then this is my character, number one on DPS at 4.2 million. So which class for Venom Gyre? This is the age old question. Should I play Deadeye? Should I play Ascendant? Should I play Juggernaut? Should I play Berserker? And there seems to be a bunch of dead eyes playing a Trinity Venom Gyre build that uses Shroud of the Lightless. But man, oh man, that build is some horrible. It's actually just terrible. So you can see here, let's go to POE Ninja and look at this build. I'm not really sure why so many people are playing this variant, but it is actually quite a disgrace. But not really sure. I think someone said it was like some streamer or some random person linked to Pob. But basically, you have a build with no armor. Very little evasion, 3.7k life, and a lot of people are using Shroud of the Lightless, or whatever it's called. So this person here, you can see they're using Shroud of the Lightless, 
And I'm not really sure why you're using Shroud of Delightless because you could just be using Omniscient's Amulet. But then they use like a lot of Abyss Jewels, right? So it feels okay. No armor at all. Probably going to die to a lot of stuff, right? And it's just going to be a bad experience. And it doesn't really do a lot of damage either. So you can also be Scion, Berserker, or Deadeye for Strength Stacking Venom Gyre. So there's two different kinds of Venom Gyres, Trinity and Strength Stacking. I did try out Trinity before I swapped to Strength Stacking. And Trinity is just not good enough, I think. It just kind of lacks the damage, right? I think Strength Stacking does give you the extra power because Venom Gyre is not as good of a mechanical skill for damage in terms of damage effectiveness and having a Vol skill gem. So you pretty much need Strength Stacking to carry the damage. Berserker will blow away every other Ascendancy for damage, especially with the new Ascendancy Jewel. With the new Ascendancy Jewel, that allows you to take any Ascendant node on your class so you can take a juggernaut node another berserker node or even a chieftain node berserker by far has the best nodes on a tree especially with juggernaut node undeniable undeniable is generally a 25 to 30 percent more damage increase what undeniable does is it gives you plus 500 accuracy rating and it gives you plus one percent increase attack speed per 150 accuracy rating and more importantly it gives you accuracy rating equal to twice your strength right so because most builds will probably have around like 2,500 strength at the end game, you will have around 5,500 accuracy from just this node alone. And this is like 60 to 70% attack speed towards the super end game. So extremely, extremely strong synergy that makes Berserker pretty much unbeatable. And it does show in the POE Ninja, you can see every single top player is a Berserker, right? In terms of damage. Now let's see what exactly is name locking and why is it broken? So name locking allows you to click and hold down the button to move and keep attacking an enemy. So what that means is you hover over a mob, right? You can keep hovering over the mob, hold down the attack button that you're using, and then you will keep following the mob and attacking it. So what this used to do before is if you were name locking over, like say Navali over here, you would just go back and forth and you would just hold it down. But right now, if you do it, you just zoom past the mob and you don't, don't do name lock this. anymore. So before, say you were name locking this and you were just holding it down, you just go back and forth like this super, super fast, right? Which is super important because for Venom Gyre, you want to be able to shotgun all of these things onto the boss, right? And we have point blank. So that's very, very important. And some other use cases include allowing someone with Cyclone to name lock and just hold it down to follow a boss. This used to be something some people used to do in the past. So what did they do to the name locking? Well, Whirling Blades can no longer name lock and just zoom past the mob if you try to hold down the button. If you try to hold down the button, you pretty much just keep going forever and just like go like this and you never come back to the mob. And it's a very, very frustrating thing to deal with compared to before where you could just hold down, hover over the boss and you would just go back and forth between the boss. And this means that the single target for Venom Gyre is a lot worse on builds that do not have one shot damage, which ruins the build for a lot of players. So a lot of people are trying to play it at a lower gear level where you don't kill like Kosis or a boss in like one or two Whirling Blades. And it's a lot, lot worse, right? I've tried like a lot of different alternatives trying to jiggle the mouse back and forth and just try to do it like that. And none of it comes close to what name locking used to feel like. So there's no mention in the patch notes of this thing getting changed. And there's no response on the bug report forms, even though it is one of the top topics with four pages of thread of replies on the bug report forms. I've also personally emailed the support and I personally tweeted backs, but there's no reply there either. So it's kind of annoying because I'm trying to figure out why this skill is bugged before I can fully recommend other people to play the build. And a lot of people actually did roll the build, right? A lot of people rolled the build at the start, not knowing that this was gonna be bugged. And it's kind of annoying when your build is just completely bricked by a bug and there's no real response whether the bug is going to be there to stay or if it's not a bug and it's just a permanent change that they're adding to name lock and this is not only just affecting venom uh, uh whirling blades it seems to be affecting a few other melee skills like frenzy and that's a pretty big deal right so not really sure if it's going to be a permanent change but would like to know if they intend to make it permanent right so what's the solution is you can confirm whether name locking is going to be removed forever and have consistency over which skills have it removed right so some skills you can still name lock with, but other skills you can't, right? So I would like to have some consistency over if everything's going to be removed for name locking and have everything removed, right? Because name locking is pretty annoying sometimes because it allows you, because sometimes you don't want to name lock and then you just attack the mob. But nowadays you have always attack without moving, so it's not too big of a deal. 
So best solution is to have name lock be an option that is toggleable because unwanted name lock is super annoying. So I know some games have it where you can turn off name lock, just uncheck this, and then you won't have name lock anymore. So that's probably going to be the best solution. So what is the conclusion overall we have for Venom Gyre? Well, Venom Gyre is still going to be the best build for Simulacrum mapping. Right, so Simulacrum farming, it is going to be the best build. It has the most rewards. It has the most potential to get seven rewards also when the two bosses spawn next to one another because when two bosses are next to each other, every single one of the projectiles is probably going to chain into the other boss, right? So you're probably going to be hitting the boss with almost close to like 20 to 30 of each projectile of each time you uh, use your rolling blades. So Shrame Stacking with the Undeniable No leads to some ridiculous damage potential. So before, like last league at the end, I was making all those videos showcasing Venom Gyre. Well, now just imagine all of those builds with like 25 to 30% more damage. So even without the name locking with Whirling Blades, Venom Gyre is such a strong mechanical skill that even like 2 to 3 Whirling Blades can kill the boss, right? And that's also because Shrame Stacking is so overpowered with a rare helmet stacking Warcry buff effect and using the new undeniable node on Juggernaut. And I really hope that GGG confirms soon whether the removal of name locking for specific skills is an unintentional bug because it has been a week and I do think that as a community, we deserve to have some sort of like response because it doesn't take very much to like confirm, oh, we know it's an issue, right? Or we know that, or it's like, oh yeah, that we intended for this change and we just did it included in the patch notes. But yeah. So 5 stars for the Venom Jar build still. You can expect to see a guide in the coming days. I'll be going over exactly what you need to do to build a character. I'll be including a shopping cart. And I will probably still be making some Lightning Strike content. But for now, Venom Jar is the new skill of choice. And I do think that it offers a better overall package than Lightning Strike at like a mid-tier budget level. Because the boots are extremely, extremely expensive. And if the build ever got popular, I think the boots could honestly go up to like 50x. But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you find more mirrors, exalts, and mage bloods than me. And see you next time. Bye.